Kelpie. Kelpie, come. Come. Kelpie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what are we saying YouTube so it snowed in Scotland isn't that beautiful we've got the pup who she absolutely obsessed with the snow like obsessed with it so yeah this is how we're kicking off this week's vlog me walking through two foot of snow with my two foot puppy have fun so what has been going on in the life of me since well, since we last caught up um training wise training's going like really good to be honest um it's probably the best i've felt in terms of strength in terms of endurance overall fitness um confidence in my body my body composition things like that it's just it's never been this good I literally feel unstoppable just now, which is, uh, which is a pretty cool feeling. Um, this was the fourth week. Um, yeah, fourth week of the marathon training and just boxed off a 14K run, um, which was a huge, huge achievement for me. Um, I can't quite remember the time. Um, it was over an hour, but anyway, it doesn't really matter the time. To me, it was it was just getting that distance done, um, and to only be, you know, only really start running four weeks ago to be able to do fourteen k and and not die and actually feel pretty good. Like if I was being honest with myself, I could have pushed the pace a little bit more, um, or ran a further distance. But the way the program set is, that we're running for a set time. So on week four, it was a sixty to seventy five minute run, um, so I think I was pretty close to that seventy five minutes, if not. I hit that 75 minutes and we did that 14k in there. So yeah, super, super pumped and, and just proud of myself for, for getting that done. Um, I'm still not enjoying running, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It still sucks. I still need to, to kind of psych myself up before I actually go out for a run. But in saying that, I'm enjoying getting better, you know. Um, I'm getting so much better from that week one. I couldn't even complete a 5k without stopping. Um, to now boxing off a 14k and what I think is a pretty respectable time um, without stopping and still feeling pretty good. Um, so yeah, super pumped that I'm able to do that. Um, obviously, in the last couple of days, I've not been able to get out for, for any runs just because it's snowing. Yeah, but so it's a bit frustrating just because I've been building a bit of momentum and things like that in terms of running. But the snow came, um, so I've not been able to, to get any sort of runs in in the last... I think six or seven days now. So it's a little bit frustrating. Um, so just waiting on that kind of clearing up and then we will we'll get back to it. Um, I kind of came at a decent time anyway because I'm not 14K. I don't know what I've done, but my right knee has just not been, it's not been feeling too pretty, to be honest. Um, I don't know if it was just because when I was running, when I was running that 14K, um, there was a little bit of snow on the ground. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or... I'm just not quite adapted or adjusted to actually being able to, to run that distance yet. But yeah, my knee wasn't feeling too good. So so Joe basically just said, take it easy for a week. Um, the snow came, so it was kind of perfect timing. But now it's feeling better. I'm just itching for the snow to go away um, just so I can get back to running. And in terms of strength training, um, I think I hit two lifetime personal best lifts um i'm counting them as lifetime personal best lifts anyway so i got a plus 24 kilo pull up uh for two and three quarters i'm gonna call it and then uh i got 52 and a half kilo dumbbell flat press for a shaky three but i'll, uh, I'll show you in the next slide three fucking reps come on i work Fuck. 
so yeah, uh, that was that. <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure um, and 100% confident that the pull-up is an actual lifetime personal best, but like I say, I'm counting it. But the flat dumbbell press is 100% um, a lifetime personal best. I've, I've never pressed anything more than 50s. Um, so yeah, pretty pumped that I got that, even though it was it was terrible. It was shaky as anything. But you know what? Um, I'm taking it. I'm taking it, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Strength wise, we're, we're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, say hi. <laughs> hi. Right. Oh. Uh, so what else? Um, business wise, business is 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 absolutely insane right now. Um, I could not be happier with with business right now. We're making a few changes just to make um just to make things look a little bit more premium and and just kick things up a notch um i've just got a massive ambition to make like this coaching program this coaching brand like the coaching brand to come to um so we're building out a lot more systems just to make things a lot more like i say premium a lot easier for clients and things like that we're building out the website so we're going to have a, a client hub where all the, the training videos will go all the educational videos and things like that that will all go in there so everything's in one place just now it's a it's a little bit scattered we've got like the private facebook group we've got a youtube channel we've got the the whatsapp group and things like that i'd rather just have everything in one place and so that's what we're doing in terms of in the brand. Um, and we're just making the service just look a lot more premium. We're just putting the, the fine touches on things in terms of like the programming and things like that. So yeah, super excited about that. Just dragged our bed through here. Um, two new clients on board. So yeah, just super excited to to have them in the team. Um, and I just can't wait to, to watch them kind of grow, develop, um, and start achieving things that are just life changing um because that's what this program is all about it's life changing life lasting results and that's what we deliver so yeah just super excited to have both those clients on board um monday's webinar like so every monday we do a team webinar um no joke this was probably the best webinar that i've personally ever delivered uh we talked about we, we, <laughs> we talked about um success success and what success looks like to you um, and it was just fucking unbelievable sorry i swear but i swear quite a lot but yeah it was just it was just sensational to to sit and listen to clients just open up about what makes them tick what drives them why they're doing this um yeah it was just it was hard hitting it was emotional it was inspiring um yeah it was just it just felt like after that webinar that the team just got so much closer. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was epic. It really, really was epic. Um, another thing that, that was pretty epic that happened was um, Matt, my good mate Matt, and the one I'm doing like, the marathon with and the, the cycle with, he uh, he gave me the the opportunity to speak to, to his coaching team um, on Wednesday. It was like a just a, a, an open conversation. It was like a, a kind of Q and A. What makes me tick and things like that. Like what drives me. Um, shared a little bit about my story and things like that. So that was yeah, just super grateful to be able to do something like that for for another coaching brand. It's the first time I've ever been asked to do another webinar for another uh, kind of coaching brand. So I was nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was really nervous. But uh, yeah, it was cool. Matt just made me feel at ease. Um, and it was cool just to be able to kind of share your story and things like that. And I hope, um, I hope the people who tuned in took something from it. And things outside of training, outside of business, um, nothing much to be honest. Caught up with a few friends um, over FaceTime, caught up with Big V. Um, oh, the puppies a couple of days ago done a photo shoot. So that's something that my sister wanted for her Christmas. Uh, so she's got a, a call across lab if you don't know Milo um, and uh, yeah she wanted, she wanted both pups to, to do a photo shoot together uh, so that was interesting <laughs> it was fun don't get me wrong it, it was really fun and the photos um, the photos came out really really good I've got two that I'll show you in the next slide
Now, Milo is a very handsome dog, but that photo does not do him any justice at all. He, lo <laughs> he looks a little bit scary, but <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was it was stressful at points, not going to lie. See, trying to get both of them to like sit still and behave and look at the camera the whole time, virtually impossible. But uh, yeah, there was a lot of photos taken and a lot of good photos taken. So it's just about whittling them down to the ones that we want. I think I've picked five, so I'm just going to put them in frames and maybe put one as a canvas or something, or just get Kelpie and blow it up and put it as one entire wall. Might do that, I don't know yet. Uh, <laughs> that would be entertaining. Um, but yeah, no, nothing much really. Um, things are good just now. Things are really good. Really good. Um, we're constantly building at the gym just now, so we've got a new rack coming. All the gym flooring is done now. Uh, by gym, I mean my spare room, but I'm just kitting it out. Like I don't think I'll ever. Well, I'll I won't ever own a gym membership again. Uh, I'm I'm so happy with just training from home. So a few more bits of kit, probably a cardio um, piece of kit. So probably like a skier or like an assault bike or something. Um, probably like a assault bike because I do miss that. A um, few more dumbbells and that's pretty much all I'll need um, from the home gym. So yeah, super excited about building that out over the coming weeks and months so yeah i'll just uh, i'll just wrap up the video there because if i don't uh, she's growing up myself um yeah so if i don't wrap it up now i'm just gonna waffle on and ramble on um so yeah hope you enjoyed this if you did smash the like button hit the subscribe button kelpie says bye and uh <laughs> enough and uh yeah i will catch you in the next video bye